No, the Ice Age isn't coming. It's already here. The Earth has been in an Ice Age for the last two million years. It is named the Pleistocene Epoch. Fortunately, the Earth gets a brief holiday from the cold at regular intervals. Only a few of the latest are shown. We are in a warm holiday period right now and have been for 13,000 years already. It is named appropriately the Holocene Epoch. The entire development of what we call civilization has occurred in this brief holiday epoch, most of which has occurred in the last part of it. We know from measuring the contents of the historic layers of ice that have accumulated over long periods on Greenland and Antarctica that the interglacial holiday epochs have occurred at fairly regular intervals. However, it has also become apparent from the historic pattern that our current warm holiday epoch is about to end. Thus the jargon developed, the Ice Age is coming. This means that our current warm interglacial period has largely run its course. It means that the next glaciation cycle looms before us. When will the Ice Age transition begin? We know that the next glaciation cycle will happen, though nobody knows when. We only know that the consequences will be enormous if we are not prepared for it when it begins. Throughout our nice warm period, we have seen only minor fluctuations. Even the coldest parts of those, like the Little Ice Age in the 1600s, that had caused major agricultural losses, are just minor ripples. Throughout the entire history of civilization, no one has experienced the typical deep glaciation climate or anything close to it. We are dealing with long time frames here, measured in thousands of years, but it has been also discovered in the historic ice data that large and rapid fluctuations have occurred at the transition interval when the climate system was changing states. We might be already near to such a stage again. The Earth has been rapidly cooling from 1998 onward with another downstep that occurred in 2005. We see fluctuations now happening in the space of years that previously took a hundred years to happen. This does not mean that the steep decline into glaciation has started, but it seems to indicate that a transition is happening. We should take this as a warning. It has been further discovered that the Ice Age cyclical changes do not occur with precisely timed regularity, so that we have nothing concrete to go by to determine when the next Ice Age transition might begin, or whether it might have already begun. However, we are able to recognize precursors. That the question of the timing of the Ice Age transition is a critical one becomes apparent when one considers the enormous impact on civilization that the return of the deep glaciation climate is bound to have. The reason is that our agriculture has developed entirely during the warm period. It is keyed to the present warm climate. We do depend on agriculture for our food. We cannot afford to lose it. This means that our agriculture must be protected against the cold, or else we risk the loss of our own survival. We are the children of the Holocene. We came into the Holocene with a 1 to 10 million population. Now we are 6.9 billion, and we really don't want to end our journey when the Holocene ends, that we have depended on throughout the development of civilization. Nor does the journey need to end. However, we need to break out of our dependence on the Holocene interglacial warm period, and this is hard as a concept because this is all that we have ever known. Technologically, it is easily possible to relocate the portion of our agriculture 
that would be endangered when the Holocene ends and place it into protected environments. This comprises potentially three-quarters of the present global agriculture. While this adds up to an enormous development project, the technological capability does exist to do this relatively effortlessly. Thus, a worldwide development task unfolds before us, which is critical to our existence. Ironically, however, and paradoxically, this critical aspect has not roused so far the slightest concern or even an interest. The reason for this disinterest may be that global warming has been made the big issue. The earth is said to be overheating. We are told that industrialization has produced a massive increase in greenhouse gases so that ice caps are said to be melting. All lowlands around the world are about to be flooded. In this context, the return of the Ice Age is far off the horizon, so why would anyone be concerned? However, when one begins to look into the Ice Age dynamics, a radically different scene comes to light than the one that everyone has been taught to be scared of. A deception, of course, no matter how cleverly it has been implemented, always has tragic consequences as it hides the reality. In the case of the global warming deception, it hides the reality of the approaching ice age, which will come upon us whether we are prepared for it or not. Only, we are affected by how we respond, whether we respond to reality or deception. In the light of an honest investigation, the ice age challenge is not scary at all. It is extremely interesting. It is also extremely relevant to our present time, because if we would respond to the challenge it presents, it would push us into a frame of economics that would enable us to create a radically richer world for us to live in, in the present, as we prepare ourselves for what is to come as we create the kind of world in which the return of the Ice Age would then have no effect on human living. However, before we get into that, allow me to set up a conceptual stage for the exploration that is rarely considered. Allow me to invite you to consider what is really normal about the Earth's climate. As I have already indicated, the present climate is an anomaly. The normal climate on Earth over the last two million years has been for 85 percent of the time an ice age climate. Only a portion of this is shown here. The earth has been in a long extended ice age period for several million years already. That's a hard concept to accept. Our normal glaciation climate was once thought to have been in the range of eight to nine degrees centigrade colder than the present average. However, according to the most modern perception of the measurements made, the glaciation climate appears to have been between 15 and 20 degrees centigrade colder than the current average. That's a deep chilling deep freeze. The actual climate anomalies are the remaining brief intervals covering roughly 15% of the time frame in the range of 12,000 to 13,000 years. The concept is also a difficult one to grasp that the entire time frame in which our civilization has developed is located in the most recent cyclical holiday from the cold. It is called the Holocene Epoch, but it really isn't recognized as a holiday because there existed no civilization outside of it, so that the normal climate has never been experienced in the context of civilization. The transition to the normal climate typically begins with a deep cooling of the earth. In the context of civilization, 
this will be a new experience. It promises not a pleasant prospect for humanity unless some far-reaching efforts are made to prepare our world for the consequences of getting back to the normal cold of the Pleistocene epoch. Only in the very long time frame of geologic history can the Pleistocene be seen as an anomaly. But for us, during almost the entire period of human development, the climate of the earth was dominated by the increasing development of the ice ages. The ice age cycles occurred more rapidly in the early part of the Pleistocene, till about a million years ago when the 100,000 year cycles developed, which now define what is normal for the earth. Evidence left behind from our normal world tells us that we had ice sheets covering much of the northern hemisphere. When the earth cools and the snow no longer melts, the snow piles up into ice sheets between 9,000 and 13,000 feet deep. On the American continent, one gigantic continental size ice sheet extended as far south as the U.S. state of Wisconsin. The water for the immense ice sheets, of course, came from the oceans, which dropped the ocean level 400 feet. That's the kind of world we're moving back into, which is our actual normal world, and will likely remain that for the next 10 million years, with cyclical warm spots in between. While it takes many thousands of years for the big ice sheets to form, which today's mountain glaciers are but minuscule examples of, the transition to the cold temperatures happens much more quickly, and long before the gigantic ice sheets begin to form. The Polish professor Zbigniew Jarowski, chairman of the Scientific Council of the Central Laboratory for Radiological Protection in Warsaw, wrote in a paper in 2003 that the transition period to the deep cold temperatures can be as short as one to two years and can begin virtually without warning or that it might unfold slowly over a span of 50 years. But one way or another, the transition back to the normal glaciation climate will happen. Nothing that we are able to do can stop it. We need to prepare ourselves, therefore, for the changes that will occur. And we need to do this quite soon, because not one, not even the Polish professor, can predict the year or decade when the transition begins. The professor speaks to us as a world-renowned atmospheric scientist and mountaineer who has excavated ice out of 17 glaciers on six continents in a 50-year career. But all that he can tell us from what he has explored is that the cyclical ice age transition is already half a millennium overdue. He's studied the ice age question for 50 years with an intense personal involvement. Evidently, he has seen enough not to make predictions. As far as the timing, he quotes other sources that suggest that the transition may occur between 50 and 150 years from now. However, he points out at the end of his 2003 paper that continuous on-the-ground temperature measurements taken at the Solar Terrestrial Institute in Irkutsk have registered a sharp drop in annual average temperature beginning in 1998. He suggests the ice age is coming and get out the fur coats. Mm -hmm.